and it's got this plastic crap on top of it, which is good and it's bad in a way. It's good because it's protecting the screen. This is pretty much indestructible in this case. But it's bad when you're trying to... Because if your hands... It's not as slippery as glass is, and sometimes you need that. Let's see if I can do like a short mix of whatever. sink it obviously and then when you sink it I'm actually slowing down both decks nice to have a real virtual vinyl. Do the master tempo you can actually hear the bend. beautiful I just I'm in love with this setup I'm gonna try it I don't care what people think I'm standing up there with an iPad I'll make it not look like an iPad I'll integrate it all together into some kind of rig that looks like it's from the future I think the home button gives away that it's an iPad the camera I can easily fix that get a different case um, be nice some kind of flush mount can't even see clear black some kind of portable rough case and that's it you know the only thing I mean the iPad's not gonna break on you the mix door could wear out if you use it heavily I do wear out buttons like crazy on controllers from hitting them too hard well I, I can't do that on an iPad because it's 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 a touch screen touch screens do not wear out unless you crack the screen which is obviously an issue up here is your history of what you played, also your previous sessions, you can see what you played, I can tell. Uh, yeah, and then you can remove songs, you can export your list, uh, you can edit your list, you can share, you can save it as a Spotify playlist so you can play it again later. And all this is the basis for 
the Pro version, which is great, um, but I just like the big jog wheel. Okay, so now this is in portrait mode, and this is the Pro version, totally different version, uh, totally different version of the software. And I have slow internet. This is why this is taking so long. I can't play this too long. See, I already missed the jog wheels already. You see, it just doesn't work for me. And, and in this portrait mode, there is no wheel. There's no wheel that you can use. I mean, yeah, you have more control. Effects are more easy. But for the purest, the, you know, the DJs that like turntables, I actually think the older version is better. If they add the full-size jog wheel and that switching thing, then I will switch back to the Pro. I believe when you load a song, whether it be in your music library, you hit songs, and then you you know you, you can hit the total. I have 26,240 tracks, lots of dupes, by the way. You hit more, and you hit analyze. Now, I believe that the analyze of this program is different than the analyze of the older version. But here we go. See, I locked, I locked the portrait mode, so this is no good. you got to turn this off. Tilt it and go. Not even need, not even need to lock it. But I'm pretty sure if I hit load, and then I go to my local library, I should see 26,240. But if I hit, if you look and scroll here, you'll notice in this column, only tracks that I've loaded are this one has a, a key of C and 127 BPM. None of them are analyzed. So you would hit, you scroll all the way, hit songs which shows out all of them, scroll all the way to the top, hit more, analyze. And this has, you know, 26,000 tracks to go to, which could take a hell of a long time. I would suggest you plug it into the AC adapter and let it run for uh, at least overnight, and you'll have all your tracks analyzed. So, my plan is to use Spotify primarily because there's always new shit, and uh, it's great, and... So I can also steal other people's playlists, you know, I don't have to spend time. If I need a booty playlist or if I need a reggae playlist, somebody already put it up, I just go find it. Now, I don't know if that feature exists in this old version. If you hit go to Spotify, and let's say you're looking for reggae, because I'm not a reggae DJ, but I will play some once in a while. So I hit search, it's showing me tracks, artists, albums, playlists. See, now this is cool, reggae. Reggae Classics pl Playlist, and can't play this one because it'll Bob Marley's dead, but he'll sue me. So, okay, maybe you weren't a reggae DJ, but Spotify has a playlist already. It's beautiful. I wish there was a way to add, maybe there is, you know, find uh, Reggae Classics. I guess you can more, come on, this is stupid screen protector. Sort, yeah, it's not letting me do anything. More is not working, sort is not working. But if you hit the button, it would be nice if I could add that as a playlist to my Spotify or something. Say, oh yeah, you know what? So right now I can only see it in this little window. By the way, when you load a track, you have a choice. You can, you can look at it full screen like this, which is great. All your playlists are on the left. All your tracks in there are on the right. <coughs> You can also hit this button here, and it shows it in a smaller, it shows me the playlist here, and so if you want to keep the deck, you know, uh, so playing and see what's going on, see it's protected. That's cool, I don't like it that way, so I usually do full screen, um, which I can't figure out how to get back, okay, so there's full screen, you can change it to bright white. Um, Small, large, uh, there's another thing. You can also look at album pictures, uh, if you, you know, which, uh, again, I don't care about that. I want to see details, so that's good. This is a preview, um, so in my headphone, I can hit preview and actually not load the track, and I can hear and I can scrub through it and say, you know what, it's no good. I can load it into a side list, my queue, there it is. Get my request, throw them in there, cancel. Um, it's the same exact stuff that was in the newer version has been taken from the old version, which is great. I don't like this white. 
can look at your history from set to set and your local and your Spotify. So to me it's I'm telling you it's great. Here another thing that's important. Let's say Spotify. When you hit edit, I'm sorry, uh let me Spotify, cancel, load, let's see, charts. This is the most recent top 100 charts. Playlist. Let's say you pick a playlist here. So if you hit sort, you sort by BPM, title, artist, time, and key. I wish he would add date added, okay? So I know, okay, these are the top 100 tracks, but which is the most recent one that came out? That would be nice. Right now, there's a bug in both the pro version, and this is because of Spotify, and this old version, that it's not counting all the BPMs and showing all the stuff. I don't have any way to force it to do it, except hit load. Wait a second. It, yeah, there's no... I don't know how to make it scan it. Okay, loading it actually made it come up with the... Uh, made it forced it to tell me the BPM in the title but that's a lot of work they need to fix this in the pro version and this and someday something they change on the Spotify side I don't know man I mean it's not virtual DJ it's it's I would say it's true almost to real life like you have a little mini turntable um, I love it I probably unless he adds this full screen view to the pro version I'm probably going to switch over to DJ2 because I really don't care about the video or a lot of the effects or four decks or whatever it is especially when using the mix tour if I'm using the iDJ Pro well, that's a different story then I might you know because I will tilt it this way and you know this is uh, I mean yeah you can read more but and you can see more but it's just it doesn't I don't like it it's too, it's too small I can't play too much of whatever this is yeah like I said alright well you get the idea so I know it's a long video, but I wanted to go over a lot of the features of this simple, yet very, very real-to-life DJ program. Uh, I mean, you don't have to spend $1,000 on an iPad Pro 256. If you have solid internet connection and you have your bass tracks, you could probably get away with getting a smaller 64 gig. Me, be doing this for so many years, I want 26,000 tracks because you'll notice I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 versions of each song. I know that's a little excessive. I need to clean this up. It's a lot of work, but all different remixes and everything, and you can't necessarily get those on Spotify. So unless he adds the ability uh, to read from a wireless hard drive, which people have been bitching about for a long time, he says it's Apple... I don't believe it because there are other programs that access a network attached storage and if they did that it's over I mean I could dump Spotify use a wireless hard drive access my stuff and that's it you know like a remix of uh, Coldplay remix but you get the idea all right so thanks for watching I know it's a long video but I hope you got something out of it and for 200 bucks and an iPad Pro which you may already have you know you're done I mean the only thing I don't like about this is it's too small to actually have XLR so you have to, I had to get some uh, adapter cables and these are made my recommendation is Hosa H-O-S-A they make good quality cables and you're looking at uh, goes from RCA to XLR. So I want to plug into the big amps. Sounds great. And the headphone amp is built into this thing. Everything's powered to this thing. You know, it does have a power brick, uh, 2.5 or 3 amp, 12 volt. I forget what it is. It's pretty hefty. 
but it has to power this and the iPad, especially the iPad. Very heavy duty power. Um, that's, that's it. I mean, as long as you don't damage your lightning connector, you shouldn't have any problems. I mean, everything should go flawlessly, you know. And if anything, you get a spare mix toy, throw it in your bag. I mean, how, how, all this fits in a backpack, you know. So. Alright, that's it. I'm done blabbing. I just want to go over um, accessories. It also supports other controllers, obviously. The Philips, the Casio, Newmark, Norn Newmark, Pioneer, Reloop, B-Pad 1 and 2. You can even just use the splitter cable. But, you know, Spotify integration. does video in the other version. And this was written... This, was, this is old. This is an old version. Graphic design, concept design, Friedrich Seifert, Karen Morsi. Some smart people over there in, uh, I believe it's in, Eng um, um, sorry, Germany. All right. Yeah. Look at, the, look at this crazy man. I'm just blown away. All right. I mean it. I'm stopping the video this time. <laughs>